There is a recent report indicating that Hollywood celebrities are excluding Meghan Markle from their vicinity as the Golden Globes Awards revealed their seating arrangement. Specifically, the individual in question is Robert De Niro. Before delving into the details, I want to highlight that a considerable number of my viewers haven't subscribed yet. If you're among them, consider subscribing. This development echoes a pattern we've observed in the past, where Hollywood celebrities have demonstrated a tendency to ignore or avoid Meghan Markle. I previously referenced a specific incident, the charity event attended by Oprah Winfrey a few months ago. Despite Meghan and Harry's presence at the event, there is a notable absence of any public pictures featuring Oprah, Meghan, and Ellen together, despite claims by some that such a photo exists. This isn't an isolated occurrence, as there seems to be a consistent trend of people distancing themselves from Meghan and Harry. So, what transpired this time? Let's delve into the specifics of this latest news to shed light on the situation. Presently, Robert De Niro is making headlines as it's been reported that he has opted to distance himself from Meghan Markle during the upcoming Golden Globe Awards. The renowned actor has allegedly requested the removal of Meghan Markle's chair from his assigned seating arrangement, which was recently disclosed to the public by the Golden Globe Awards organizers. If I'm not mistaken, I believe you pronounced Robert De Niro correctly. This decision by De Niro is being interpreted as a clear expression of his disapproval for the former royal, who has been entangled in various controversies following her revealing interview with Oprah Winfrey. Insider sources suggest that De Niro was initially designated to occupy a seat adjacent to Markle at the prestigious awards ceremony scheduled for January 14, 2024. However, the acclaimed actor expressed dissatisfaction with this seating arrangement and subsequently requested a change. It's worth noting that such incidents are not novel for Meghan Markle, as we've previously witnessed similar situations. One instance that comes to mind is the seating plan disclosure by the monarchy, revealing Meghan and Harry positioned at the back row during their visit to the UK for a particular event. In this unfolding situation within the Hollywood community involving Meghan and Harry, as per the report, Robert De Niro has supposedly communicated to the organizers that he wishes to distance himself from Meghan, whom he views as both untruthful and intimidating. This sentiment aligns with a broader trend where numerous Hollywood figures have openly criticized Meghan and Harry, labeling them as opportunists who lack a meaningful work ethic. This isn't a new narrative, as such criticisms have been prevalent. Reportedly, De Niro informed the event organizers that he is unhappy with the prospect of being associated with Meghan Markle. It's crucial to note that De Niro's critical stance toward Meghan Markle predates this incident, he had expressed support for the royal family in an interview with the Times back in April 2021. In that interview, De Niro conveyed his dismay over Meghan Markle's accusations, expressing sympathy for the Queen and Prince Philip, the latter of whom passed away shortly after the interview. This suggests that De Niro's reservations about Meghan Markle extend beyond recent events, reaching back to at least April 2021. De Niro strongly expressed his disapproval of Meghan and Harry's actions during the infamous interview, deeming it a disgrace that will forever stain their reputation. He found it particularly reprehensible considering the vulnerable health condition of Prince Philip at the time. According to De Niro, they should have exercised discretion and shown respect for the institution. Another point worth noting is De Niro's call for other prominent figures, like Oprah and Ellen DeGeneres to distance themselves from Meghan and Harry. He suggests that Hollywood celebrities should speak out against them and, if necessary, snub them. De Niro is adamant that it's high time Meghan and Harry face consequences for what he perceives as a series of lies, emphasizing their opportunistic pursuit of financial gain through their royal status. Additionally, De Niro openly questioned Meghan Markle's claims of racism and dismissed her as a genuine princess labeling her as a fake one. He expressed skepticism about her playing the victim card. This perspective aligns with the growing sentiment that Meghan and Harry are exploiting their royal ties for personal gain rather than engaging in sincere advocacy or public service. Now, please go ahead with the next report you'd like to share. Not only is the Hollywood community distancing itself from Meghan and Harry, 
but they are also actively snubbing the couple. Another noteworthy incident involves Harry facing a significant setback. As indicated in a recent report, he experienced a rejection from his supposedly cherished veterans or army associates. Prince Harry encounters a fresh snub as his remarks on the royal's army cast a shadow over him. The report highlights that he was notably excluded from Sandhurst's guide featuring its most distinguished graduates. This is undeniably disheartening for Harry. It's truly unfortunate because he held the belief that he shared a connection with the veterans, the army, and the British defense forces. He enjoyed being perceived as part of their community. However, this time around, they are the ones making it clear that Harry is not welcomed among them, expressing a polite but firm thanks, but no thanks. A notable development has occurred as Prince Harry finds himself excluded from the list of 200 distinguished individuals who served at the prestigious military academy. Interestingly, this exclusion might be viewed positively. It's essential to highlight the significance of the Sandhurst Army Academy, renowned not only in Britain but also attracting students, particularly from the Middle East, making it a highly prestigious institution. When Harry faces rejection from such a reputable establishment, it carries weight, especially considering that this snub comes from the heart of the British Army Academy. Former British Army Commander Richard Camp, who is central to the Academy, has made comments that may shed light on the reasons behind this exclusion. Camp, in his memoir, expressed that while he might have considered including Harry for balance, he ultimately found no disappointment in his absence. He added that he didn't perceive Harry's service at Sandhurst as particularly notable. It seems that the recent discord between Prince Harry and the royal family might have played a role in the decision to exclude him. His actions are perceived as making life challenging for everyone involved. An example is the mention of his trophies in Afghanistan, which drew criticism for being unscrupulous. Considering these factors, it appears that the decision to snub Harry from the prestigious military academy is a consequence of his recent behavior. The sentiment seems to be, thank you, but no thanks. He won't be seen alongside the UK army due to his perceived undeserving nature. Comments from Cat Antonia further emphasize this perspective. Thank you all for participating in this session on Cat's Live. I appreciate your engagement, and I look forward to the next one. Have a wonderful day.